so we will see in this uh, video the stm grain size so stm grain size number that is small n is related with the number of grains that you can count in 100x magnification that is capital n by the relation of capital n is equal to 2 to the power small n minus 1 where uh, capital n refers to the grain per inch square and small n is the stm grain size number so uh, we can see this formula like uh, capital m upon 100 whole square into grain per inch square is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 where n refers to grain per inch square and this is small n refers to stm grain size number and m is the at which magnification uh, we need to require this grain per inch square this is the magnification so the in the previous slide the formula is given at 100x so we can see here 100 this will come out like n is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 at 100x so in the question if it is given that calculate the number of grain per inch square at 100x then we, we can use this formula directly if it is given like at uh, any other magnification like 200x or 50x something then we use this formula and we also need to keep in uh, mind like if it is asked in mm grain size in case of mm then we use 1 inch is equal to 2.54 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter so this is 25.4 mm and if it is asked like in centimeter then we can use 2.54 centimeter so we can convert like this and there is also one more relation between the grain diameter and grain per inch square so d is equal to 1 upon under root n so this also we can use now we will see the hall patch relation so the uh, strength increment associated with the grain boundaries is usually described in terms of the well known hall patch relation so this is the relation sigma by is equal to sigma naught plus k upon under root of d where sigma by is the yield stress sigma naught is the frictional stress which includes contribution from solutes and particles but not from the dislocations and k is the strengthening coefficient a constant specific to the each material also known as the locking parameter and d is the grain size so this is the direct hall patch relation where if we decrease the grain size the yield strength of the material will increase but reverse to this inverse hall patch re relation we will see if we are decreasing the grain size d less than 20 nanometer to be very specific then the strength of the material sigma by will directly proportional to the grain size like if we are decreasing the d then sigma by will also decrease if we are uh, using this inverse hall patch so this is the relation between the inverse hall patch and this is the relation for this hall patch relation now we will see the rule of mixture for the for calculating the young modulus in composites so the effective young modulus by c or we can also call it ec of the composite material parallel to the fibers so the longitudinal fiber we will use the formula by c is equal to by f dot bf plus by m dot vm and uh, effective young modulus uh, by c of the composite material perpendicular to the fibers in case of transverse fiber by c is equal to 1 upon by f dot bf plus by m dot this is for matrix vm so we will use this where by c is the elastic modulus of the composite by f is the elastic modulus of the fibers and by m is the elastic modulus of matrix vm is the volume fraction of matrix and bf is the volume fraction of fibers here we will see that how the elastic behavior in 
case of longitudinal loading elastic behavior of composite in longitudinal loading so let us consider the elastic behavior of continuous and oriented fiber composite that is loading in the fiber alignment so it is also called iso strain like this is the direction of fiber this is the matrix this is the fiber and this is the loading direction so here this is the condition of iso strain condition strain of composite strain of fiber and strain of matrix so this condition is also known as iso strain condition and it has also uh, different different names like iso strain condition zero angle force condition and longitudinal parallel to the fiber condition voigt model and upper bound condition so in all these conditions if it is being asked that elastic behavior of com uh, of composite in longitudinal loading or uh, iso strain or zero angle condition or voigt model or parallel to the fiber and upper bound we will use the formula of this ec is equal to em vm plus ef dot vf this is for matrix this is for fiber so we will use only this formula